Barnett. Barnett, this is the Scorpion. The plane has taken off and will drop the demolition bombs on the shack in a few minutes. Leave the shack immediately. Come on, that plane will be over in no time. I'm going to call Captain Marvel. He can get us out of here. loose just in time. This is dangerous business, Betty. For your own good, you better give up your job. I can't quit now, Billy. I've got a real clue to the Scorpion. How's that? When they took me to the Scorpion, I shot at him, and I injured his hand, the right one. Well, then if the Scorpion's one of the scientists, we'll spot him at the meeting tomorrow. Well, come on, we got a lot of hiking to do. And Captain Marvel got the girl out. I'll remove Captain Marvel in due time. Yeah, but how? When I complete this Atom Smasher, I'll have a weapon that not even he can withstand. But I must have those other lenses. And Billy Batson continually interferes. We meet today, and Batson will be there. I count on you to take care of him. I've got one trick that never misses. But how about your hand? Won't that give you away? Don't worry, Barnett. I've taken care of that. This ought to do the trick. I hope so. Morning, gentlemen. Hello. Hello. Here's a statement from the museum. It guarantees the authenticity of the specimens we brought back from Siam. They want each of us to sign it. The usual formality. Thank you. Pardon me? Nice to
timing, Betty. Well, who is it? It's Dr. Lang. Dr. Lang? That's hard to believe. What are you going to do now? Search his house. If he is the scorpion, then the golden scorpion and the lenses ought to be there. But Dr. Lang keeps a guard on the gate day and night. Is that Lang's hat and coat? Yes, why? If I wear these and take his car, I'll bet I can get by those guards. Dr. Lang, he wants to leave, sir. Tell him I had to take his car and keep him here as long as you can. Who's that? Must be Lang, it's his car. Come on, let's go. How do you want it set? So she'll blow when the speedometer hits 50. Oh, Dr. Lang, are you leaving so soon? Oh, yes, I, I have some very important work to attend to. I'm terribly sorry, but your car isn't here. Billy had to borrow it. What do you mean? Well, Whitey was supposed to pick him up, but he didn't get here in time. Uh, yeah, I kind of got tied up, but I'll be glad to take you any place you want to go, Dr. Lang. Never mind, uh, I'll call a cab. No, it's no trouble at all. All right, then. But I must get to my home immediately. It's a pleasure. Very well, come on. You ready? All set. Let's get out of here. Dr. Lang? Hello. Why, it's Billy Batson. We've got to stop him. I'm in a hurry. I don't like to drive over 50 miles an hour, Dr. Lang. Then let me drive. I'll step it up a bit.
Tarzan. Billy Batson. Yes, Dr. Lang. When I saw your wounded hand, I knew you were the scorpion. Well, what do you mean? Scorpion was wounded in the hand yesterday. Since you're the only suspect with a bandaged hand, I knew... Uh, I can explain that. Perhaps you can also explain why the Scorpion's men attacked me when I came in here. Of course I can, but it's not safe out here, Billy. Let's go into the house. I'd be glad to. I'd planned on searching your house anyway. I have no objections. Come on. Won't you make yourselves comfortable, gentlemen? Benson, it's uh, rather cold in here. You turn on the furnace and uh, give us plenty of heat. Yes, sir. story of your injury, Dr. Lang. <coughs> but how do you explain the Scorpion's men being here? They're after me. The Scorpion wants my lens. Perhaps, but... Gee, I'm getting so sleepy, I... I can't... Leave at once. The Scorpion's men may be here at any moment. These chaps wouldn't allow me to leave, so I, I had a gas. I understand, sir. What do you wish to do with them? I imagine Whitey will be all right. But if the Scorpion's men find Billy, they'll kill him. So I have to take him to a safer place. Come, Benson, help me to get him into the car. We've got to catch him. Oh, no. 